Michael, uh, but Linda brought up a, a real good point here. And um, once again, uh, one of the things that we have talked about prior is this money in politics and how do we get it out of politics? And um, and and uh, do you want to cut in there or do you have to... You... No, I was just thinking when you were talking about that, you know, the, the whole intent of of becoming a representative is, is for the people, not for themselves. And we've, we've talked about this so many times, Lou, that it, it just seems like... Uh, political drive is based on self and that's not what our founding fathers had intended no it, it certainly wasn't and uh, I, I you know I actually uh, I have a few things I want to touch about what the founding fathers had said because uh, we talked a little bit about the Obama speech uh, uh, just recently is uh, at the inauguration but before we get into that let's just stay on this for a moment and that that would be you know getting money out of politics and guys I'm gonna float this out to you if you listen to 94.3 FM the talker there's a sanity check 871-4169 871-4170 if you want to join in on the conversation but at the end of the day here um, we keep hearing about how Pennsylvania, Michael, as you know uh, is the highest per capita when it comes to the cost of our legislature and I've heard uh, uh, folks that are going to be there today, and I'm going to bring this up. Uh, Mr. Pershinsky is one of them, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to lay this right on his feet. He, I, I've heard that uh, the best way to cut the cost of the legislature is to cut the uh, um, you know cut the size of the legislature. And I'm here to say, folks, that is the most absurd thing I have ever heard in my life. And if it was, if I had the magic wand, what I would be doing is doubling and tripling the size of the legislature. So before you run off the off the roads and say, "What's he talking about?" What I'm going to tell you is, is this: um, the first thing we need to do is, if you want money out, and I just want you to think of this theory: if if you want money out of the legislature, what you do is you increase the representation so that money does not have the same influence. So, uh, so how does that work? Uh, we brought this up before, Michael, about uh, little old New Hampshire. New Hampshire has the third largest legislative body in the world, okay, outside of, the, um, outside of Parliament and outside of Congress. And their legislative district only encompasses 7,000 people. So for every legislature in, uh, legislator in, my, uh, in, in New Hampshire, there's 7,000 people. So what does that do? Well, what that does is this. If Lou Jasikoff wants to run for office and he's running against uh, Tea Party Mike Lacey and... and you don't stand a chance, Lou. Okay. <laughs> well, you're right. Yeah, you're, absol <laughs> you're absolutely right because this, this is what would happen. I would come in with all my money, Michael, <clears throat> and, right, and, and right. I could run all kinds of ads about you, tell, yep. uh, slandering you and everything, and people say, wait a minute, I don't care about what this guy... I don't care what kind of ad this guy's putting on the paper. I know Lou personally. I, I mean, right. Mike, personally, I know him, I know who he is, and I like him. So that takes the money out of the legislature. Just just think about that, folks, okay? And then when I hear guys like Pershinsky, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to lay this on him again, when he says, oh, well, that's the way we caught, cut the legislator, legislature or, or the cost of legislature, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him exactly what Linda Urban just said. You know what? Why don't you cut your salary? Why don't yep. you cut your per diems? Why don't you cut all your benefits? Why don't you cut your WAM money? If you really, really care, if that's what you really care about is cutting the cost of the legislature, please don't be, don't, don't, don't look at me in the eye and, and, and make a fool out of me and telling me, oh, I am going to cut, uh, we're going to cut the size of the legislature so we could cut, cut the cost of the legislature for the people. Bull. That is not the reason. If you want to really do it, cut your benefits. Yeah, and Lou, and you bring up a valid point because it just seems like folks like Eddie Day, Shinsky, all they know is what seems to be a popular statement at the time. <laughs> I don't, I don't hear anything new coming out of Eddie Day's mouth, like an idea of his own. You know, he, he points, well, how about us, how about we double it and we cut everybody's salary in half? There you go. You yes. Know, and then we have, you know, we're not incurring any more expense, 
and we're getting more representation. Well, there you go, and and that and that is a double whammy, and and we don't even you know you could we could we could you know you cut them in half and you increase the legislature by a third, and and there we now we're cutting expenses, we're cutting the you know so there's ways around this, but when and folks and 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 I think what this is all about is just a different way looking at things out of the box, saying wait a minute, is there better ways to do things, and and we're going to present this in a nice way today, and 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 certainly I have done this you know, talk before about it, but uh, we're certainly going to bring it up at the legislative breakfast. If the cost of the legislature is high, and we know it is, outside of California, uh, and, you know, and, and when I'm, once again, per capita, I believe Pennsylvania has the highest legislative cost in, in the country, Here's, there's a perfect way to do it. Do you need $80,000 salary to, you know, go with, you know, to, to represent yourself or represent us in in, in Pennsylvania legislature, and then you start adding on all these extra costs, and 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 there's a there's a simple way to do things. It so what kind of really, salary? It's, it's funny if you, if you have extra costs with better results. Ah, it does a trade off there, but but we don't. We have extra costs, and, and and our results are getting worse. You know, you've got budgets out of control. You've got all kinds of things. But where where we're all we're looking for is good representation. And I think at some point in time we say, okay, we'd be willing to pay for that. But what we're getting is huge expense with no results. And, and, and both parties are to blame here. I'm not picking out one party. I, I mentioned Eddie Day. But both are to blame. And, and so I think they need to stop pointing fingers at each other and really come along and say, okay, what is it the people want? What is best for the people? And, and really this is a new view that they need, need, I feel, to start taking. And become informed and listen to folks when you go down there to the breakfast today, Lou, and talk about Act 111. Talk about you know, the, the equal right. The, well, the, the VCA, uh, the right. We're going we're gonna to talk yeah. about the Voter Choice Act, and yeah. once again, all that does, folks, is is, is really uh, holding the legislators' feet to the fire that and, and to follow the Pennsylvania, uh, the Commonwealth uh, Constitution, which says uh, elections shall be free and equal. And, and we're not going to get into all of that stuff, Mike, because, you know, that we could spend a whole That's show on show. that because yeah. everybody knows that it's not free and equal. But, you know, if we take politics out of it, what do people want? I mean, what, what do people call free elections? What's the right. goal? I mean, do we vote for a week long? I mean, is that is that is that a way to make elections free? Do we have voter ID? And 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 if anybody has any kind of uh, you know, if they have an opinion on this, and and we're looking for ideas. I mean, because I want free elections. I want to see more people involved. I want to see more informed voters.